major um, focus of our program here at Oklahoma State in wrestling is power and explosion. Uh, you can be a great basketball player, football player, wrestler, baseball player, doesn't matter. The guys that are really successful are guys that can generate power and have explosion. So everything we do starts here on the platform. Antonio's gonna start out. Uh, we teach the top-down method like um, USA weightlifting. So we're gonna talk, talk, talk jump shrug first and then we're gonna go through all the different lists we do on the platform. But why this is so important is when Antonio is doing this, you're gonna see the extension of the hip, knee, and ankle, or some people call it triple extension. Anytime you get the extension of all three of those joints and you get that hip drive and the hip power, that's where you're gonna increase power and explosion for the student athlete. So always be looking here, here, here. So hip, knee, and ankle, that's, that's our main focus. So first thing he's gonna do, he's gonna grab a, a, about a shoulder width grip on the bar for his hand clean. He's gonna step back in the middle of the platform. He's going to go hip hinge, butt back, be out over the bar, a little bit of a knee bend. Notice his back's flat, chest's up. And what you want to have that student athlete think is, is his chest over the bar. Back flat, chest up, looking straight ahead, or even some people say about six feet out in front of you. You don't want the eyes up in the air. So go ahead and do about five jump shrugs. Arms tight, elbows rolled, knuckles down. Go jump, and the bar's going to pick you up. Don't swing back. Go straight up. Extend, there you go. Keep the bar close to the body. Fill the bar, pick you up. Fill the bar, pick you up. Keep the bar close to your body. Jump, good. Get a little bit taller. Fill that bar, pick you up. Good, good rep right there, okay. That is clean grip, jump shrug. That's the first thing we start with. Sometimes we even start with the, the wooden dowels in the corner over there, but um, most time we'll start with the um, the big bar. Now it's going to go snatch grip. So you're going to be outside the rings by about two inches, maybe an inch and a half. And sometimes we measure our student athletes so they can make sure they don't get too wide. Feet are the same. You're going to be hip width again. Elbows rolled, knuckles down, keeping the arms straight until after you shrug. That's the key. If your elbow bends, your power ends. You've got no power if you bend the elbow. Okay, over the bar, booty out. Okay, jump and shrug. Good, that was even better than his hand clean shrugs. Good, bar close to the body. Don't swing your head back, let's go straight up. Try to put your head into the ceiling. There, great rep. Where was that on the hand clean, Antonio? There, perfect, one more. Good job, that's snatch grip, jump shrug. Why that is such a vital exercise is you want the student athlete to feel the bar picking them up and their arms straight because the last thing you want them to do when they start cleaning and snatching is bending their elbows before they shrug. You want to get your lifting the weight with your hips, not with your arms. Okay.